from the studio who turned Luke and Han into puke and gone, and the director who imagined Wolverine as a broke down shell of his former self, comes Hollywood's latest reminder that time is the great destroyer and we're all marching toward irrelevance and bitter disappointment. Shocking no one showed up for this one, isn't it? Let me die, please. Kill me now. Let me die, please. I am so depressed. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Indiana Jones is back, and since everyone hated Crystal Skull's happy ending, he's sad. His wife left him, his students don't want to sleep with him anymore, and he's the only man alive who misses Shia LaBeouf. I told him he was going to die. But when he's visited by his beloved goddaughter, whose name never came up before, I'm her godfather. Harrison Ford will be whisked off for one last trip around the world of elder abuse. Stop! The man is in his 80s. He belongs in a museum. Fleabag Waller Bridge joins the franchise as Helena Shaw, a real Disney executive type. The only thing worth believing in ever is cash. She's charming and seductive. Presumably. Take the other character's word for it. Come here. I want to show you something. Gosh. I thought maybe you returned because you loved me. Who's so clearly set up to be the next Indy. They put a map of Indiana on her forehead. She'll spawn with her own boy servant, Teddy. This literal straw hat pirate as Gen Z's answer to Short Round, who's less about put downs and more about putting Nazis down for good. And who learns how to fly from the movie school of bullshit. Hey, good for you, kid. Maybe you'll also win an Oscar in 38 years and Harrison will be there to, oh, never mind. When you've already done Nazis, cults, Nazis, and aliens, it's Nazi time again. They're working with Mason, a clueless CIA agent from the shallow end of the deep state. Your associates killed three American civilians and blew up a nationally televised parade. Kleber, who keeps this actor streak going as the most forgettable part of your favorite franchise. The Wolfenstein boss you have to take out to get the blue key card. And Voller, Mads Mikkelsen's third magic Nazi. He's more obsessed with World War II than your dad. And this Monday morning Fuhrer back wants to kill Hitler for all the wrong reasons. I saw every mistake, every blunder, and I will correct them all. I say let him try. He's the only German alive with bad time management skills. 214 BC, you got the wrong war. Gain a new appreciation for Steven Spielberg as you watch director James Mangold's cover band version that uses cutting edge tech to make Harrison Ford look like a melting wax figure of himself. Ruins in rubble, the Fuhrer's in hiding. Still can de-age that voice though, huh? And has him Forrest Gump his way through some decent action set pieces until the ending brings the fabled Dial of Destiny back to ancient Greece so that Archimedes can invent the Dial of Destiny? Wait, not only is that a paradox, but it's another indie movie where the same thing happens if he never does anything. Don't look at it! Keep your eyes shut! Except for a few more dead people, I guess. Sorry. <laughs> My friend was just murdered. So enjoy a film that's remarkably similar to your own father. It's familiar. Just is going in a museum. Eels? They look like snakes. No, they don't. Where it doesn't matter. Here. Probably on its second marriage, and good for a few short bursts of enthusiasm. <laughs> but talking big picture here has nothing new to offer and just wants to be left alone to relive the past. Hello, Namena. Helena, get on the plane. I'll be all right. Hey, maybe it is time to start coming up with new movie heroes after all. What do you say, boomers? Never? Great. Just check it. Starring. Welcome to the past. My bedtime. The 40-year-old version. Destiny's Child. Taponcito Rapaz. A rocket scientist getting into right-wing politics concerning Bad Pitt. And my slacks. C-I-E. Dr. Jones, the other one. No, you're thinking of Aristotle. That's Archimedes. Different guy. Puss in boats. That's so Ravenwood. I hate. And Cold Cox. <laughs> Wrinkled in time.
time. I don't believe in magic, Wombat. What? You witnessed the Ark of the Covenant melt everyone's face. You got brainwashed by the spirit of Kali. You drank from the Holy Grail. Explored an alien spaceship. You believe in magic. Did you know Harrison Ford has the most on-screen relationships with women who are at least 15 years younger than him? Congrats, Harry. We crunch the numbers on the age dynamics of every movie romance in an all-new episode of By the Numbers. Spoiler alert. Keep James Bond 500 yards away from his school at all times. Click the box on the right to learn why. If life gives you limes, make margaritas. All the girls are in love with me. I'm a teenage lobotomy. The day Epic Voice Guy read your comment was the most important day of your life. But for me, it was Tuesday. 